Hey there, in this video, I'm going to show you how I created this tabs component that is also controlled by a drop down component. So, if you want to have a mobile experience where the user can click on a drop down and control the tabs and hide your tabs menu, stay tuned and I'll show you how I built this. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head back into Designer. And as you can see, I have a drop down component and the tabs component already on my page. And so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go over each of these elements and how I've structured each of them. And then I'm going to go over the custom code. So the first thing I'm going to go over is my drop down component. And so when you first put a drop down on the page in Webflow, you're going to notice that it says drop down and you get three drop down links. Well, in my example, since Los Angeles is my first tab, I'm going to change where it says drop down to say Los Angeles. So that way, when Los Angeles is clicked, since it's the first one, it's going to automatically say Los Angeles. And then we're going to give it a title. In my example, I gave it a class of replace text. And what this is going to do later on is that once we implement our custom code, when we click on one of the drop down links that either says Miami or Seattle, it's going to replace this replace text with the title of that link. So that way when we click on Miami or Seattle, it's going to change the text to say Miami or Seattle or back to Los Angeles. And then in my drop down nav, I'm going to go and show this. I have three links with the three tabs. So Los Angeles, Miami, and Seattle. And so what I did was what I'm going to do is I'm going to give each one of these drop down links a data attribute. And I'm going to give it a data attribute of data dash drop down and the value of what it says. So for the first one, Los Angeles, I'm going to go to custom attributes. And I'm going to give it a custom attribute of data dash drop down and the value of Los Angeles. Now I'm just going to copy the data dash drop down. Then I'm going to go to my second link and I'm going to do the same thing. So data drop down and then Miami. And then the third link, data drop down, Seattle. And we're going to use these custom attributes to match the drop down link to the tabs. So how we're going to do that is we're going to hide this again and we're going to go to our tabs menu. And if you go to the tab settings, you'll notice on default where you set the active tab, it will say tab one, tab two, and tab three. Well, we can give these a custom name that we want. And when we do that, Webflow is going to automatically give it a data attribute of data dash w dash tab. So I'm going to give each one of these tabs the same value, the same name as the value for our drop down links. So for example, how I said data dash drop down Los Angeles, I'm going to give tab one that same value. So I'm going to rename this Los Angeles. I'm going to rename tab two Miami. And I'm going to rename tab three Seattle. So now that that's set up and both of them match, we're now going to go into our custom code. And as you can see, I've already connected a code sandbox file into this project. So I'm going to go open that code sandbox project. And this is the code we're going to use to have it all work. So basically what we're doing is that on click of the attribute with data dropdown, it's going to find the value of data dash dropdown. And then it's going to find the matching data dash w dash tab. And once it finds it, it's going to click on that tab. So that way when we click on one of our dropdown links, it's going to click on the corresponding tab. And then what we're going to do is we're going to find the text that says replace text in the drop down menu. 
and it's going to replace that text with the text content of the data dash drop down. So if we go back, and you notice how my example show the menu. My text content either says Los Angeles, Miami, or Seattle. What this code is going to do is that it's going to replace the content of replace text with the text content in one of the drop down links. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to close the drop down menu. And to do that, we're going to sprinkle in a little jQuery. And I actually found this little snippet at the end, the jQuery from Alyssa Gavinsky on the forums. So shout out to her. And what we're going to do is we're going to use jQuery and its trigger handler method to close the drop down. So once we put that all together, I'm going to hit publish. And if I go to my published site, I can hit the drop down. I can hit Miami and it changes to Miami. And now the text content says Miami. I can go to Seattle and it changes to Seattle. And now I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to open up my browser test of Lambda test. So as you can see, I have a iPhone 14 Pro simulator on the screen and I have my tabs. I can hit the drop down. I can hit Miami and it works. So there you go. Hope this helps you in your projects. Clonable will be in the description. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.